What is going on? Welcome to Battle Spawn Doubles, Episode 3. Hopefully we can find some decent opponents this time. Uh, but, I don't know. Who knows? Let's hop into Double. I'm very excited. I have a bit of a new team, bit of an old team. Uh, today we are going to be using Mimikyu, Starmie. Turtonator, Togedemaru, Marowak, and Tyranitar. Um, I'm sort of doing a Spotlight Shell Trap combo with Starmie and uh, Togedemaru I just wanted to have, so I made one. Uh, Marowak uh, for obvious reasons, and then Tyranitar also for obvious reasons. So hopefully we get a good battle theme, and uh, hopefully we get a good opponent. Our rating is only 1490, so... It doesn't really matter if we win or lose on this one. Um, okay, so for sure we're bringing Togedemaru. For sure we need to bring Mimikyu. Tyranitar is a thing as well. I think we just YOLO bring Starmie Turtonator and let's try out our strategy. Then, uh, what else can we do? What else can we do? We do need to bring Togedemaru. Or Tapu Fini. Or we could... Mmm... Let's bring Mimikyu. Maybe. And let's bring Tyranitar. And let's see how that works out. I don't know. It might be awful. It might be great. I don't know. All I know is I'm really excited. He has blue lipstick on his trainer. That's something I might need to try out. That looks a little cute. Hopefully we don't have any opponents that take forever to do anything. I know in a couple of the last episodes, jeez Louise, it was brutal. All right, Fini. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Misty Surge. Psychic Surge prevents priority, so we're good with Spotlight. I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and Spotlight Turtonator. If he, do, if he decides not to attack because, well, I don't know. I'm scared. All right, let's just do it. Spotlight Turtonator and then Shell Trap. See if it works. If it doesn't work, we're pretty much completely screwed, but it's going to be okay. And then if he gets knocked down to low health before Shell Trap, the Pattaya Berry, yes. Okay, Shell Trap goes off. Oh, he flinched. I forgot about that mechanic. That really sucks. This is going to hurt. Oh, okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Same play. Same play. Maybe he will do the same thing. I don't know. We're going to do the same thing. I really just want this to work. In case you haven't gotten that yet. This is a kind of gimmicky, kind of a gimmicky scent. The top of Finny is faster than Incineroar. That's definitely going to take out our Turtonator for sure. The Pattaya Berry didn't go off. I think it must, must be uh, at least 25%. That's fine. Do you guys think Scarf or Specs Tapu Fini? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. We're, uh, we, we pretty much, <laughs> we pretty much lost. Um, and let's go Tyranitar, basically because we have no other option, so it's fine, it's fine, I know what you guys are thinking, you definitely shouldn't have done this, it's fine, it's totally fine, don't worry about it, I got it, everything is under control. Um... I think we swords dance first. 
Red card should allow us to scout out anything else he has in the back. Hopefully he brought Zapdos. Tapu Fini's gone. Get red carded. But our disguise is busted, so that sucks. Naganadel, shiny Naganadel. Okay. Maybe we should have trick roomed on that turn. It's fine. Darkest Lariat on the Mimikyu. That did a ton of damage. That did a ton of damage. That really did a ton of damage. Um. We don't have any other options. We really don't. I say we shadow sneak the Naganadel, and then we just rock slide again. Because honestly, we don't, I mean, we, we lost. We pretty much lost already. We're not gonna forfeit. Never forfeit. Tapu Fini's back out. It probably is a choice item. Oh, brutal. Brutal, not enough. All right. Goodbye, Mimikyu. Special attack or speed? Special attack. Of course. Of course. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're done for. We are done for. GG's all around. Not to me. There was a terrible game. It was a terrible idea. It was a terrible idea. Spotlight Shell Trap Turtonator. I don't know why I thought it would be a great idea. It really is not. It really is not. <sighs> no. Not even a weakness policy boost. Not even one. All right. Well, you got to lose at some points, right? All of the episodes can't start off with a win and then a loss. Sometimes it's a loss and a loss. Sometimes a loss and a win. Maybe one time it'll be a win and then another win. Not this time, but it's going to be okay. Let's look for another opponent. Ugh. I feel so bad. I feel so bad for Turtonator. I worked really hard to raise that Turtonator. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I promise it's fine. I don't even care anymore. Two wins, four losses. Okay. So we're a little negative. So we're a little negative. Who cares? It's not that big of a deal. For sure, I want to bring Togedomaru next. I should have brought Togedomaru in the last one. I, th I feel like the Incineroar would have been a problem. But we need to be thinking about Tapus, because normally I just make a team that I want to use. But if we want to get good, definitely going to start thinking about usage stats. That's another thing. One of the most used, I think it's the, the most used Pokemon. If you look up the, the, on that usage stats website, the most used Pokemon is Arcanine. Which for me is, I mean, I guess I never realized Arcanine is such a useful Pokemon, but it definitely, it's on like every team ever. Arcanine, Celesteela. Um, I'm not even sure if Salamence is, is up at the top. Uh, there are some things that are really surprising, like Alolan Exeggutor is above. Um, what else was I looking for? I was looking for a bunch of Trick Room Pokemon, and I realized, like, once you look at the usage stats, there are Pokemon that are up on, the, like, pretty high up on there that you would never expect to be on any sort of list. Uh, we didn't bring Mudsdale, otherwise we would completely destroy. Uh, let's go Starmie Turtonator again. Why not? 
He's got two physical attackers. Star Me Turtonator isn't going to work. Never mind. Disregard. Let's go, obviously, Tyranitar. Uh, we could do... Let's lead Tyranitar Mimikyu. I want to bring Starmie for... Marowak, Muk, not Muk, Gengar, and Amoongus. We could get the job done with regular, just plain old Marowak. Um... Let's bring Starmie. And let's bring... Why don't we bring Turtonator? Why don't we just bring Togedomaru? Let's bring Turtonator. We're doing it. We're doing it. I made an executive decision. I'm sorry. X Venom. Star X Venom Star. I apologize. Looking very dapper. Looking very professional. Alright. What do you got? Gengar and Amoongus. Well, crap. Definitely going to be Focus Ash Gengar. Amoongus is going to try and kill the crap out of Tyranitar, so I think what we do is Rock Slide. For sure. And then, uh... Swords Dance or Shadow Sneak? One Shadow Sneak might not be enough to kill Gengar after the Rock Slide. Also going to be faster. Also, Gengar can know Dazzling Gleam. But if we Swords Dance, Red Card plus Disguise is going to send someone away, so let's just Swords Dance anyway. Rage Powder is fine. Parish Song? And then he switches in Gothitelle. Right? With, uh, what's it called? Shadow Tag? That doesn't really affect Mimikyu. Mimikyu's Ghost, right? Eject Button. Okay. Sends in Got the Tell. Yes? I don't think we faced a Parish Trap team so far, have we? I don't really know how to combat it. Or counter it. Muck? Okay. Uh, well. I think we do the same thing. I think we rock slide. So Muck is going to try and shadow sneak us. I believe we're faster. Even though it was originally set up for Trick Room, I think we just Shadow Sneak the Gengar, but he might switch. Probably is going to switch. I say we play rough the Gengar slot. After one Swords Dance, it's still, it's, I mean, it's going to be enough to KO the Gengar. Okay, so now he has Shadow Tag? That's weird. Why would you not, I don't know. Okay, protect. Okay. Muck is going to shadow sneak. Minimize? Alright, alright. So this is going to be annoying. Let's do... Let's rock slide again. He might shadow sneak this turn, so we're just going to try and shadow sneak the Gengar. I don't know, I'm kind of concerned. Mimikyu can swap out though, with our disguise and our red card intact. Amoongus? Gosh, that regenerator. At least he doesn't have effect spore. That would be super, super annoying. Okay.
black sludge. Yeah. All right. Um, we're gonna switch out Tyranitar for Darmy, and we're gonna switch out Mimikyu for Turtonator. I mean, everybody is still at full health. I think Paris Trap definitely got nerfed, whether it was intentional or unintentional, but... I mean, I just, I just got out of it. So it didn't really... I don't know. It seems a lot like our Spotlight Shell Trap tactic. <laughs> In theory, it sounds good, but really, it doesn't work. Okay. Turtonator's asleep. Cool. So do we get a Shadow Sneak from the Muck? I think we Psychic the Amoongus slot, regardless. And then... We'll just click Shell Trap on the Turtonator. Just for funsies. So now we're officially trapped with Shadow Tag. Shell Trap works through Sleep. Okay, so we're definitely dead. Oh, Focus Ash. Okay. So I'm thinking we just, I'm going to, I'm going to spotlight got to tell. And there's not really a good way to beat this stupid muck right now. I'm just, I'm just mashing buttons at this point. The Pokemon equivalent of mashing buttons. So at least now if he wants to knock off or Shadow Sneak or whatever, he's going to go for Minimize again. It's going to be impossible. This battle's going to go on forever. Big Draco Medial, Ma Medial, Big Draco Medial, at least Turtonator woke up. Okay. So I have a feeling either Muck or Turtonator is going to be the fastest. Spotlight doesn't really have priority, I don't think. Let's Spotlight Shell Trap. I don't know if that's going to do anything, but we got we got to try it. We got to try something. Amoongus is back out. Spotlight does have priority. Okay, we're good. Okay, sets off Shell Trap. Let's go, it worked. Pataya Berry didn't go off though because it got knocked off, which really sucks. Yeah, this really sucks. Um, I think we just spotlight Shell Trap until time runs out, to be honest. There's not a whole lot else we can do. Now the real problem is does Shell Trap go off through sleep? Because it works through sleep. Uh, it doesn't. Okay. Um
I think we spotlight Amoongus this time. And then let's just start fire blasting. I don't know. I really don't want to lo lose uh, Mimikyu and Tyranitar. He does have Mega Gengar in the back. Trick Room is about to run out as well. Turtonator's asleep. So Turtonator is slower than Amoongus and Muk. So hopefully this Muk will kill the Amoongus for us. Yes? How does that work? Why in the world? Oh well. I'm pretty sure... I thought Spotlight was supposed to highlight the opponent, but I guess... I don't know. I guess it doesn't work like that. It works on our side, but for some reason it doesn't work on their side. Oh well. I was using it, originally trying to use it as a, uh, as a sort of like a reverse rage powder. He's definitely going to put Mimikyu to sleep. I think we at least try and Shadow Sneak before that happens. But we're never going to touch that muck. We're never going to touch that muck. Brutal. Brutal. Okay, Amoongus is down, so we don't have to worry about sleep anymore. Unless he has, uh, I don't know, Hypnosis? Regenerator's fine. Pops the Disguise. Red card, so he's gone. Unless, the, uh, Knock Off. Yeah, okay. The properties of knockoff are interesting because you would think that red card would go first because it's anyone who touches the Pokemon. But I digress. Gengar's definitely going to know Dazzling Gleam. I think, well, he has got the tell, so if we crunch this slot, we're good regardless. He's not going to want to switch that muck out. I think we double into Gengar, and then with whatever time we have left, we just have to try and uh, we just have to try and take out that muck. Now we're for sure Paris trapped because we can't switch out. There's my dog. Okay, so Gengar's gone. Now we have Gothitelle left. We basically have three turns to try and do something about this stupid muck. So I don't know... I don't know. One second. Okie dokie, sorry about that. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. For sure we crunch the Gothitelle slot. We can play rough muck substitute. I don't think, I don't know. I honestly don't, don't think anything's going to work. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work. So at this point, all you have to do is stall out the Parish song. It's a pretty good strategy. I just don't know if, I don't know if this is how it's supposed to go or if initially he screwed up and then we allowed him if we uh, actually allowed him to like allowed for it to work by switching out and like not just attacking because i think as soon as you realize i think as soon as you realize it's a paris trap team you definitely need to start 
going on like full on offense. And we didn't do that. At least I don't think we did that. But this is it. There's no way we're going to be able to. Uh... There's no way we're going to be able to kill this muck. Um... And we're disconnected. Okie dokie. Well, uh, what I would have done is fire punch and play rough. But we don't get to do that. So there's that. What an incredibly unproductive battle that was. Uh, that's all the time we have. What a weird note to end it on. Uh, anyway, let me know if you guys like this series. Uh, I'm putting together more Pokemon, which is why sometimes the video upload schedule uh, might be a little bit delayed for this series. Because in the meantime, I'm actually using the sets that you guys are sending me. Breeding and all sorts of stuff like that. So, uh, like I said, if you like this video... I didn't say that. I've said it in a previous video. I didn't say it now. But I'm, now I can say like I said because I've already said it. Like I said, if you like this video, make sure to leave it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you want to see more of. Uh, which Pokemon do you think was the MVP of this video uh, on my team or on their teams? And what Pokemon do you want to see me use in the future? Leave some sets with the spreads and uh, items and moves and all that crap down below. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Subscribe if you like this type of content and want to see more of it. Make sure you turn notifications on. That's pretty much it. You guys have been great. I have been the Danger Moss, and I will see you next time.